Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, Halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to Two Americans take Indonesian street uh, food tour This video was uh, suggested by Arif Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with a video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end with that said we're gonna get started with our video yeah. Bakso Bakso Oh Kota Tua, we're in Kota Tua Nasi Pachel Basically Indonesian cereal We are gonna try Mi Ayam Indonesian chicken noodle soup What's good everybody, this is Connor Sullivan again and this is the first time I'm filming outside in the daylight in Jakarta today. I am going to meet up with another American YouTuber and what are we gonna do? We're gonna get food. It seems like my time in Jakarta will be a food tour until I get my motorcycle. Then I'm gonna ride around. Let's do this. Boom baby, let's go. I'm currently in a taxi, also known as Marissa's car. She's right here. Hello. And I don't know what I'm gonna be eating today. She said that she's gonna take me on some traditional Indonesian food. Do you have ideas? Um, so this is a surprise, but one thing I want you to try is nasi padang, which is really famous here. What so is it? So good. I'm gonna let you see when you go over there. What part of town are we in? Okay, so we are centrally downtown, and we are near Kota Tua, and we are gonna try all the street food here, and you are gonna love it. Kota Tua? Yeah. Kota Tua, we're in Kota Tua. There's a lot of people here. Motorbikes are here. And the way that you cross the street is you basically put your hand up and you just hope they stop. Like this. Hey, it worked, it worked. Hey, it worked. Hey. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang, bro. Oh. When I first came here, I was like, dang, like, how are we going to cross? And I just saw people being like, boom. Oh. The local kids on the way, bro. What's good? You guys watch YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody in the world watches YouTube. This is why I like YouTube because everywhere I go, all the locals are like, "Yo, let me look you up," and I'm just like, "Look me up, Connor Sullivan, boy." So what is this? Um, it is one of the famous dishes here. It's called pachel. We gotta try this. So we got the Indonesian crackers, there's tempeh, there's cabbage in here, and then different types of noodles. And they have peanut sauce poured on top. Basically Indonesian cereal. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like everything mixed together. Peanut sauce as the milk. Gonna try it right now. I'm gonna let you try it first. Okay. Pachel. Indonesian cereal. Pachel. <laughs> Get on the street. And then here we, we like to say um, salamat makan. Salamat makan? Salamat makan. So that's like the Germans saying prost when yeah, they drink beer? Yeah, like let's eat. Or you can say ayot makan, mari makan. Salamat makan. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Hmm. It tastes like, it's really chewy. It's more mm -hmm. chewy than I thought. You say it's tempeh? Fried tempeh. Okay. Hey, I really like the peanut sauce though. The peanut sauce is on that's, another level. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got the inside scoop. You have to mix it all up. Mix you know, it up. I love mixing everything. Dude, finally vegetables. <laughs> I was gonna ask that because I'm trying to find vegetables that Indonesians eat all the time because I still want to eat healthy. Yeah. I don't want to just eat fried food. So what vegetables do Indonesians eat? Kangkung, um, which is a vegetable. Is that Indonesia. here? Yeah. There's cabbage inside too, bean sprouts. All right. I'm going to have to search for vegetables. If you guys know where I can get vegetables, please tell me. <laughs> that's really good. It's only a dollar. And that's the best part. Here, you get really good Indonesian food for really cheap. I know. <laughs> Why are they taking pictures? They think you're a celebrity here. <laughs> Crossing the street number two. Like this. That's crazy. It works. We're at the Bakso Satan. Bakso Satan. It might be spicy. I don't know. We'll see. And what you eat in this is noodles. Noodles, beef meatballs. And then bean sprouts and vegetables. Bean sprouts, vegetables, noodles, beef meatballs, and they and put then a little a salt. Yummy 
broth. Yummy broth. It's gonna be a little spicy. And a heck of spice. Oh, they have my favorite sauce. Dude, actually, <laughs> this is different, dude. I, I, in Bali, I had this thing called Lombok sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is called Rasa Kas Mutasari Setup. Is that different? Like, hey, what's money? good? Dude, I'm hecka down for anything saucy. Oh. Alrighty, Connor, so this is bakso. Yeah, baby, baby let's yeah. go. And this is traditional, like, Indonesian people eat this all the time off the street? Um, not all the time, but this is an Indonesian traditional dish, and you can find it pretty much anywhere throughout Indonesia. Look at these meatballs. Beef, beef meatballs, yes. I have some sweet sauce and some chabe, hot sauce. yes, hot sauce. We call it chabe. How much should I put in? Um, as much as you want oh. and how much is your bird. <laughs> That's too much. We'll, we'll, we'll find out later. We'll find out later. Boom! How do you do it? Do you just like, get a big old bite of everything? Or? Um, so just mix it first. Okay. Yeah. Mix that John up. It smells good, huh? Yeah, it does. Mm. <laughs> Is it like against the rules to slurp your noodles? No. Okay, I, I, you can slurp your noodles Not here. Not at all. Mm. It's good, right? Absolutely. Mm. I feel like I'm tasting this, whatever it is. Okay, so you didn't put enough of the spicy sauce. Yeah, it's not that spicy yet. Mm -hmm. Let me taste this on my finger. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's a uh, sweet soy sauce. So okay, we'll sweet soy. The it. rest of it tastes like the, uh, what's that stuff you buy? Like the Indonesians buy these like little packets of noodles. Oh, Indomie. Indomie. Oh, it tastes okay. kind of like Indomie. It tastes like Indomie. Really? It's a little bit like Indomie with just vegetables and like random meatballs, but it's Fancy good. Fancy Indomie. Fancy Indomie. Bakso. Bakso. Oh! Oh, that was That's hot! It's definitely hot. It's hot, but <laughs> I'm used to the spice by now. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm conquering some uh, major food uh, checkpoints <laughs> in my life. So you can definitely live here in Indonesia eating all the spicy food by now. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Easy money. This is good. So we are going to try Mi Ayam. Indonesian chicken noodle soup. Mi means uh, noodles and Ayam means chicken. Is this dark stuff chicken? Yes, what? it's chicken. That's chicken and this is chicken. The little dark shredded pieces of meat is chicken. Yo, yo. And then right here, over here, is bakso. And this is beef. Bakso beef. It looks oh, good. You're going to love it. Alright, so I just go for it? Yeah, do you want to add any uh, spicy sauce to it? I'll go no no sauce for a first bite. Okay, get that authentic <laughs> flavor. Hey. It's like mi goreng. Yeah? From the uh, Indomart. <laughs> mi goreng. That's what it's like. It's good. It's very good. Like Absolutely. It. And how much does this cost? Less than a dollar? Less than a dollar. Portion's good. It's super savory. And you can go wrong with eating meat items. He told me that this one's the hottest one. So maybe just like a dab or yeah, two? Yeah, I mean... Oh. One, two, three, five drops, bro. The drop of death. It's not bad. Not bad? It's really good, actually. Okay. So maybe I'll try it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be brave like you. Wow, I like this one. It feels like it's a lot more oily though. It is. Yeah. It's very oily. I think it's uh, sweet from the, the chicken. Oily nice. chicken noodle soup with vegetables. All right, so we're in the town square right now. Heck of people out here. It's holiday. Crowded. Public holiday. People are like blowing bubbles, riding bikes. Dude, see all these people with bikes like this? They just rent these pink bikes, I guess, and just ride around the square, literally in circles. There's so many people just on these bikes, little kids and stuff, just riding around in circles. That's kind of cool. Let's come out here and hang out, right? Yeah. We you, just... want, you want to get on one? I don't know. Or I'm a I'm, nice I'm, hat. <laughs> I'm chilling. Nice. Okay, so I'm sitting here in the square. And there's a lot of students around here. How old are you guys? 15. So there's kids that are like high school and college age, and they basically go up to, I guess, tourists like myself, and they practice their English. What is your name? Practice English. Here we go. We're practicing English. My name is Connor, and they're filming it. Let's go. Where do you go from? I come from Los Angeles, California. What is your hobby? My hobby is making videos for YouTube and traveling. This is dope, man. Favorite food in Indonesia? Favorite food in Indonesia? Yes. What's my favorite food? My favorite food is mi goreng from Indomart. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to meet you guys. Bye. Bye.
What's your name, man? My name is Panga, Fran. Panga? Yeah. And you're from Yogyakarta? From Yogyakarta. This guy is a, uh, what are you selling here? Yeah, so you know Bubble. I bubbles. sell Bubble. He sells Bubbles, but I was going to say he's like a tour guide because we walked up and he's telling us everything. He's the one who told me about the kids speaking English. He also told us about this square. He just told me that all the Indonesian people are... are it's uh, very friendly. And they're friendly. Hospitality. Yeah. Indonesia he, people is very friendly on the hospitality. I think on the Indonesia, you get many smiles. You get a lot of smiles. Indonesian people are always yeah. friendly. And you know what? He's not lying. Yeah. Ever since I've been here, they've always been friendly. So we're at the end of the square. This is where they got a lot more street vendors selling coconuts. They got the little kebabs. They got everything. I am um, a lot of locals here. Dope, bro. Let's go. All right, so apparently this is hard to find. It's called Kerak Talor Kas Betawi, yeah? Yeah. Kerak Talor Kas Betawi. <laughs> Chicken egg and duck egg. And how do they make it? They're, they're making it right here. Rice, yeah? Yeah. And then what else? They put duck egg in there? Yeah, and then the chicken egg. And then they roast it on here. Witnessing this firsthand. Duck egg, chicken egg, rice. Yeah. First time trying it. I've Her never tried too. it either. I've never been able to find this dish and I finally found it here. Are you going to film yourself eating it? Um, yeah, I can. Okay, so this is where, if you want to see Marissa's video, click the link wherever it appears because yeah. she's going to be eating this too. And you want to check out her channel because she actually lives here in Indonesia. I don't. <laughs> so when I leave, you can, I'll pass my channel off to Marissa and you can continue to follow Indonesian lifestyle. Here we go. There you go. What is that? Any apa mas? Spice to the max, boy. Oh, they're good. Bunch of Indonesian spices. What a freaking ball. Wow. My favorite part about all this stuff is that we're literally right on the street. You know, you order it, you call online, and then you just pick it up as you roll by. And you feel the heat. Woo! Feel that heat. Hot. The omelet is actually upside down right now. It's just chilling right there. And he's flaming the fire so it gets hotter. Horses, lots of crazy stuff out here. Oh, it's Okay. That's coconut? Yes, coconut. Fried shallots. All right, so this is a Indonesian specialty. She said that it's not very often that you can find this in the street. No, it's very difficult to find this. And here at Kota Tua, they have a street vendor selling it. And, and you've been, she's been here two years and she's never had it. I've never tried it. It's Dang. so hard to find this dish, but I've been wanting to try it so bad. And in what way, perfect way to try it with Mr. Connor over yes. here. Woo! The world traveler, world food eater, man. So it's pretty much like rice <laughs> at the bottom with an yeah, egg. With egg mixed inside. And then they Onions? have- Onions? Yes, the, these are fried shallots here, the onions, and fried then they shallots. have shavings of coconut. Coconut shavings. Dang, yeah. that sounds like a pretty dang good treat to me. First reaction. One, two, three. It's never going to be another first reaction. Mm. I'm like ratatouille. <laughs> you know, he gets like the thoughts. This. What does it taste like? Mm. Mm. The coconut's good. Yes. I really, I really taste the coconut. I need a second taste to like actually give a review. <laughs> so good. It's like, it's like a rice crispy pancake. That's how I'm gonna relate it. Like a pancake, but then you got the rice in there. It's crispy, so it's a rice crispy <laughs> pancake. That's how I can describe it. Yeah, you can really taste the rice grain inside yeah. the egg. Dude. If they put like syrup on this, it would be the best. Just like syrup, like breakfast. That's what I'm trying to tell. Indonesian people, put syrup on this, it will be good. I guarantee. <laughs> Thank you for watching the short food tour that we had here in Jakarta. This is just one of many food tours that I'm probably gonna do in Indonesia. I want to say thank you to Marissa. If you want to follow her channel, link will be in the description. And thank you Indonesia for being welcoming to me. I've felt nothing but love from everyone. So I just wanted to say thank you. If you would like to continue to watch videos of me traveling, subscribe, follow me on social media. That's it. Boom baby, let's go. Boom baby, let's, let's go. go. Boom baby, let's go. Wow. So that food tour was just delicious. It made me hungry. I'm super hungry now looking at all the stuff these guys are eating. I like that uh, beef soup that they had with like noodles. It kind of reminded me of like Vietnamese noodle soup. And they had like the chicken version as well. And uh, then this, this kind of looked like uh, maybe a little bit of like, maybe like he said, uh, pancake. But it was interesting, kind of like fried rice because they had rice and then they put the eggs and onions. Uh, but all of it 
make me hungry just want to go and munch out on some uh, food so thank you very much guys for suggesting it i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam